Hello, hola, and salam. Sit back, relax. Let your ears and eyes do the work. This is the Amir Speak at Sports Loveth podcast. Hello, world. Welcome back. This is Amir Speaketh, Sports Loveth Podcast, Vlogcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is almost the end of July. We're right in the middle, right in the thick of things. Thick of things. But a great weekend it was. LAFC with another big win versus Real Salt Lake. That's twice, Daddy. That's twice. We gotcha. It was 2-1 to one on Saturday, and I was a bit scared when they tied it up off of a very, very terrible defensive mistake by LAFC, but it's all good. Car- King Carlos Vela to the rescue, El Rey, with the goal in the 79th minute. And if you haven't seen it, go, go now. Go now and watch it. A great pass by Kim Moon Juan, Juan. And uh, Carlos Vela trapped it with the chest, a little Chester, and then slammed that Mamma Jamba home. Their keeper was really sick, by the way. But Diego Rossi on the score sheet in the 10th minute. Nice one-two passing. Threading it through, and Diego Rossi got the goal. Aaron Herrera for Real Salt Lake got it in the 18th minute. So it was 1-1 at half, and I was a bit scared, worrying are we going to make this happen? Now check out these stats. Look at this. Look at this. 57% possession by LAFC. Real Salt Lake, 43%. Shots on goal. Let me start with Real Salt Lake. Three shots, two on target. LAFC, nine on target. How many total shots? 29. Yes, you heard that correctly. 29 shots. And we only had two, but it's all good. It's all good. We got the win, so whatever. But Carlos Vela hit the pole twice. One, um, Atuesta had a free kick. He, he kicked it to the wall. It bounced back to Vela and psh, just slammed it. Hit the top right corner post. Super disappointed that he didn't make that because that would have gone on highlights upon highlights. But his goal that he did get in the 79th minute was a stunner. He just ripped it with his left foot it was insane so i was really happy about that um that we did get that win and late in the late in the second half he did hit the post again but we were attacking man we look good we look raheem edwards a forward a winger he was slicing and dicing through that defense and i couldn't have been more proud of him Kim Moon Hwan, I I swear when we first signed him i was like all right a south korean you know i am half persian Iran plays South Korea a bunch of times. I've seen them. They're good. They're pretty damn good. Maybe they don't show out in the World Cup all the time, but they are a good squad. So I knew he had played with the Korean national team a few times, and I was like, all right, this guy could be solid. And, man, he has surpassed my expectations times 1,000. He is playing so well with his passing, his his running up the sideline, going in the attacking force, he's he's all I could have asked for. And he he should have had a goal last week when we beat in Austin. Austin FC looking at you. But, you know, he had another sick, sick pass that was very similar to the Real Salt Lake the first game a few weeks ago uh, where he crossed it in and Cifuentes, he had a nice move, and then Cifuentes just didn't put it away. It was insane how many misses there were in this last game uh but we are back baby and it looked good it felt good back at the bank the crowd looked into it i did see some beer showers happening so i don't know what's up with that i would have really really been happy if they made that illegal from now on because people sip their drink and then throw it in the air your boy me i sip my drink and throw it in the air not giving a fuck where it goes so Whatever, I guess, I don't know, I'm going to bring an umbrella, maybe a poncho, I'm not really sure yet when I do eventually go back, but it is going down. By the way, also, did you get your MLS All-Star tickets? Those are on sale now, at least the pre-sale was, I believe they should be going on sale later today or something, but that looks 
like a very, very hot game, and I'm going to definitely enjoy it. MLS All-Stars, they haven't announced it, but they have announced the Liga MX All-Stars um, that they will be facing. So, you know, got a good squad, a lot of Cruz Azul people. Uh, Gignac with the Tigres, our nemesis, the guy that put us to sleep in the Champions League final last year. He's going to be on it, so I will definitely send a few boos his way. Um But it's going to be a pretty awesome game, especially that it's here in Los Angeles at the Bank of California Stadium. Whoa! Damn! I'm excited. End of August. August 25th. Put it in your calendar now. August 24th, the Skills Challenge. I'm definitely going to that, too. Carlos Vela and Chicharito. Boo, Chicharito. But you know what? Fellow Mexicanos, I will appreciate their presence. But Carlos Vela, I'm hoping he wins everything. Call me biased. Maybe it's my hat. Maybe it's my shirt. Maybe it's all the LAFC gear in this room. Maybe it's my flag. Who knows? But what I do know is I am going to be fully entertained. I might even cry. But August 28th, LAFC vs. Galaxy. Put that in your calendar right now. I'm extremely excited for that game. I think that's the game I'll cry. When I walk in the stadium, I feel the drums beating and I just get the aura of live soccer in my body, then I'll cry. Maybe. I'm not really sure. I hate to cry, but I also love it. So we'll see. But we look great, man. We got two away wins. We have another game this coming Wednesday against Portland in Portland. And that should hopefully be another win for us. But we'll see. You never know. You never know. But that's going to be a great game. And um, we'll just see where it goes from there, really. Uh, Then we have, I believe, let's take a look at their schedule instead of me just guessing over here. Um, But we have been playing well away. So this is a good sign for all of us. So we got Portland, LAFC, Wednesday, July 21st. LAFC Vancouver July 24th and then LAFC in Minnesota on a Wednesday at home July 28th so it's definitely winnable games here Portland in Portland that's kind of a burn it is a mid midweek game but we have momentum so if we get that win that will be dope and then Vancouver they are playing pretty well But let's see, what place are we? We're still in fifth place with 21 points. Sitting right above us with 21 points as well. One game behind is Colorado. Carson Galaxy, 24 points. Same amount of games. 26 points, Sporting KC. And Seattle Sounders still at the top. Enjoy the top, but we coming for that ass. They got 29 points with one game ahead of everybody. Dang, why is that? 14 games laid vancouver oh man they are sitting at the bottom in 12th place with 12 points so that could be a winnable one portland is in seventh with 16 points so they need a win just as much as we do but we could see a nice little leapfrog going down going down because we have six wins three draws four losses Carson Galaxy has eight wins, zero draws, five losses. That's interesting. No draws for them, huh? But they did lose this past weekend, and I believe it was to Vancouver. So kudos to you. But Seattle Sounders are missing a bunch of players. They're in the Gold Cup, I believe, a bunch of them. But the Gold Cup, you know, after that exhilarating two finals with Italy and England, it's not coming home. It's going to Rome. And with Argentina and Brazil, with Messi finally getting that long-awaited trophy, international trophy. He also got the most liked picture in Instagram history, sitting at a little over 20 million. And probably by the time this is broadcast, 21 million. He overtook Ronaldo for most liked sports picture. That's just magical. So after those two tournaments that were a gift from God... Um, but unless you're from England, but it, it was a gift to watch that whole thing play out. So we go from that to the gold cup. It's like, come on, man. I watched Mexico just barely beat 
El Salvador last night. Eh, 1-0. You know, I'm watching USA and Canada play. They're, everyone's talking about it. It's like it's still Canada, people. USA won one zero. So really, it's not that exciting, and we got like a bunch of B squad players on there and C squad even. So, but you know what? It's entertainment. It's soccer. So, I'll be honest. I still watch it, but I'm not just sitting there just watching it, watching it. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm looking forward to the final. It could be very possible that Mexico will play USA in the final. It looks very possible. So, once that happens, that'll be nice. But two. Two very different tournaments here. Come on, man. So can't even compete with that kind of entertainment. But the Olympics are also coming up. And I just, I don't know. I think we all kind of like the Olympics coming from like a competition standpoint, coming from representing your country standpoint. Um, so we'll see what's up. And um, they will start July 23rd. Ooh, just a couple more days here. Oh, man. Women's archery. There you go. July 22nd. All right. I won't, I don't know if I'll be watching archery, but uh, it will be on NBC, so check it out. But the basketball will be back on Phoenix Suns, by the way. You know, I, I don't know. I'm just so entertained. I enjoy watching them lose, but uh, I would, would have thought they were going to win the whole thing, but I don't know. I don't even know anymore. I, I'm thinking it's going to go to Game 7. I think everyone thinks Milwaukee's going to go back home and Suns are going to win. I mean, Milwaukee's going to win it, but I think the Suns might just come out with some fire in their ass and win that game and take it to a Game 7. So I don't know. Um, but, damn, they got everything in the Olympics right now. Handball, judo, karate, <laughs> rowing, sailing, shooting, skateboarding. But... The things I'll be paying attention to mainly, maybe a little swimming, maybe a little table tennis. I don't know. Well, dang, it's in Tokyo, so I'm sure the timeline's going to be messed, really messed up. But the USA basketball team, I'll definitely be watching them very closely. Looking forward to seeing all those all-stars play against different countries. And they don't look like they're going to just, like, run over everyone if we're basing it on their preseason because they've been losing some games. One to Nigeria. They came back against Spain the other day, so we'll see. But um, badminton. <laughs> uh, but basketball will start on Sunday, uh, July 25th. What's up? Ooh, the men's Olympic tournament tips off group stage with Iran versus TBD. Two teams to be decided. Australia versus Nigeria also will play. And France versus USA. There you go. Now we have a good Sunday. So I'll definitely be checking out that. And there's just something about when a tournament only comes every four years or so. And... It just makes it that much more exciting. And I know there's a lot of protests and stuff about what the Olympics means. By the way, um, damn, what's that? Icarus, I believe it's called. There's a movie. Uh, yes, it is called Icarus. Icarus? I-C-A-R-U-S. It's on Netflix. And it's a documentary, and it talks about all the doping scandals involving with the Russians and all this stuff. So, And I think this Olympics, they still can't even play in it. They just got to be, like, uh, independently represented, not even through Russia. <sighs> I mean, talk about people that are just trying to win no matter what, right? So we'll see. Um, but I'll definitely... I'll definitely be checking out a lot of stuff, and I'll talk about it on this podcast, but, you know, I think I'm more interested in what's about to happen this Wednesday, Portland, LAFC, then Saturday, LAFC, Vancouver, but Kim Moon Kwan, you, you, you are the man, you are the man, I checked out his Instagram, man, so good, uh, but I would just love to see what the future has for this guy. Um, Carlos Vela looking much, much better. The way they played on Saturday was just, it was very fast paced. It was Romero still in the goal. He's looking, he's looking nice. I'm not going to lie. I like Cisniega. So when I didn't see him, I'm like, what's going on? But he's, Romero, he's, he's a good player. So 
looking forward to what else he's got in store for us. Diego Rossi, he, he, I don't know. I don't know if he, like, bet on the game or what, but he definitely looked like a different player. Was coming on full attack and just running his ass off, really. So, Bob in. Bob in. We don't want him out, and we'll see. But hopefully um, we'll keep the good times rolling, keep on winning, and I'm just super excited for the future. We got a long way to go. I don't think this season will end until a few more months. What is this? We're in July, August, September. Probably, I think it goes till October, really. Uh, I'm not even 100% sure, but we'll see. But thanks again for joining in. Um, we'll see you on Friday, most likely, because I want to do a little recap of this Wednesday game. We do have a sponsor now, so I will be announcing our newest sponsor in the next podcast later at the end of this week. Super excited for it. So I love you all, and peace. Thanks for listening to the Amir Speak of Sports Loveth podcast. See you soon. Maybe.